Hey, hey, and welcome to today's video. Today, we are going to clean the entire house. It is Friday, and Friday in this house means it is our weekly home blessing day. And it sounds really fancy, but it basically just means we clean all the things and we make sure that the house looks ready for the weekend. So that is what we're gonna do today. And it has been a pretty busy week. So actually, this entire week, I didn't really do that much work. Well, not housework, I mean. So my to-do list is kind of long. <laughs> so we are gonna do a bunch of things and I'm gonna take you along today. So let's get ready and clean our home. So every Friday when I have my weekly home blessing day or cleaning day or whatever you wanna call it, I always start with doing the dishes. And it doesn't mean that I have a sink full of dishes because like I said in a previous video, I always do my dishes um, on the same day because I really hate waking up to a full sink. So I don't have a ton of dishes in the morning, but I still like to get that out of the way. So even though it's just five bowls and five spoons or just a few plates, I really love getting that out of the way. So whenever I walk into the kitchen or when I want to do something, I always know that my kitchen is clean. That is the first thing I did. And it's the same thing with making your bed in the morning. It just gives you a head start. It makes you feel like you've accomplished something. Um, so that it's just really nice to have that done and to know that, okay, whatever happens, my kitchen is clean, my dishes are done, and I can focus on other things, which is what I usually do. Uh, after that, I love doing my laundry in the morning. And on a Friday, I usually do it a little bit different and I do my laundry after I strip the beds. So when I did my dishes, I usually go upstairs and I strip the beds and I make sure that I have all the blankets and the pillows airing out and I have all the covers in my laundry so I can wash them for the week and just have that uh, hanging outside on a line because I really do like having that fresh air going through my blankets and my uh, covers. And now that the sun is shining again, I am so happy that I can finally do that again. So that is what I love to do in uh, spring and in summertime. Just have everything outside, let it get some fresh air in and make sure that everything is nice and clean. So that is what we're doing first thing. And then we're going to do all the other things because there's still a lot to do. So on a Friday, I usually do a lot of surface cleaning. I don't do a lot of deep cleaning because that is something I do with the fly lady system and I use zone cleaning. Uh, but on a Friday, I like to do my weekly home blessing and I just do surface stuff. So I dust, I vacuum, I mop, I clean the toilet, I do the dishes and things like that. Um, and I actually water the plants because that is something I keep forgetting, especially the plants in the bedroom. I always forget to water those. Um, so those are things that I do on a Friday and it helps me to stay on top of things. Um, and then during the week, I will do all the zone cleaning and the deep cleaning stuff. Um, but anyway, let's get started. As I am going through our living room and cleaning all the things, I wanted to share something that has been on my heart lately because it's something that I have personally been working on. A lot of times when we go on Instagram or YouTube or any other platform and we watch other homemakers, it can feel like they have it all together and they have a beautiful home and they have everything figured out and it can feel like you don't have everything. We all know that comparison is a thief of joy, but I really feel in my heart that God is telling me to embrace the season I'm in and to really fully enjoy the place I am in because we live in a home for five years now and it is a great house. We like the house, but it's not our forever home. This is a rental and we really thought when we came into this house that it was going to be for a really short period of time and it turned into five years and this is not the place that we want to be in. We really want to just live in the countryside, have a bunch of animals, chickens, you know the drill, we wanna live on a homestead. And living in the middle of a city, in a big city where it's loud, we have apartments looking into our backyard. It can often feel like we have done everything wrong and we just never will end up in the place we wanna be in. Well, right now, God has been telling me and been pressing on my heart to just embrace the season I'm in, to fully seek him and to really enjoy everything that he has given us, even though it is not the place that I want to live in right now. There 
there is so much beauty in my life right now. We have three healthy children. We have beautiful family. We have a lot of things that we can enjoy. I'm so thankful for a lot of things we have. And it's really something that I feel necessary to, yeah, to look at and to be aware of that there's so much beauty around us. And even though we might be in a season that is difficult or in a place we don't want to be in, make sure that you embrace God and you really seek him first. Because when we seek God, we will always be fulfilled and we will always feel gratitude and we can always express that. And that is so important. So that is something I really wanted to bless you with because it's so important to show gratitude for everything we have. Because honestly, in our Western world, we are so blessed and we have a bunch of things that we can be thankful for. So I wanted to bless you with that because that is something God has been uh, working on me with. So I just wanted to share that with you. Now let's get back to cleaning. Okay, so one thing I was actually going to do extra today is clean the backyard because it is almost weekend and it's going to be really nice weather. And it's going to be a long weekend. Hey. Hi. <laughs> um, it's going to be a long weekend, so I want to make sure that the yard looks good uh, so that we can sit outside. So let's get it done. Yeah. So when I knew that God told me that I really needed to focus on the here and now and not be so focused on what I could have or where I should be or where I want to live or things like that, really focusing on where am I now and embracing that season and embracing where we live, I knew that some things had to change. And one of the first things that I decided to do was I deleted Instagram. For me, Instagram has always been one of those comparison games where I would see other people in their stories and I thought they had the most beautiful home they had the most beautiful dresses and it looked all so perfect to me and here I am in my jeans in a tiny backyard with a lot of apartments looking at my yard I constantly felt like I wasn't enough because of all the other things that I could see on the internet and that was something that was wrong with me but I knew that I had to get rid of it in order to heal my heart in that so that is what I did and it has been such a beautiful time after I did that I think it's been about a year now and it's been so good. Another thing that I would always encourage every woman to do is I dive deep into the Bible and I do my morning devotions and I really make sure that I carve out time every single day to read the Bible and to read God's word and read what he says that I need and that I should be doing. So those are two things that I really would encourage you to focus on and to lean towards because that is definitely going to change the way you feel and the way you experience your day-to-day -day life and embracing the season you're in. So that is it for today. I have had enough. <laughs> I don't want to clean anything else. I just want to prep dinner, have pizza, and watch Little House on the Prairie because that is what we're going to do tonight. So if you love content like this, if you love homemaking, being a housewife, and everything that has to do with home, this is the place for you. I would love for you to subscribe, and I will see you in our next video. Bye!